Well, let's now bring in CCTV Celestine Carone, who will be covering the Olympic Games for us in Brazil during the duration of the tournament. She joins us now from the Olympic Park in Rio. Uh, Celestine, obviously the Games have now started after that magnificent opening ceremony. What should we expect in the coming days from Rio de Janeiro? Well, Mahia, the, as you can expect, the race for medals, gold, silver and bronze has begun here in Rio. Um, the, the, the expectation really is that those participating here will want to take home something be it a medal or be it the experience of, uh, you know, competing at the Olympic Games. Of course, uh, the first gold medal, the first gold medal of the competition, the first champion of the 2016 Olympic Games was an American, that is um, a, a lady who won in the women's 10 meter air rifle, uh, Miss Thrasher, Virginia Thrasher. Now, Mahia, the other team that is going to really uh, be, you know, of interest here will be the refugee team, the first ever Olympic refugee team. This is a group of athletes that the IOC have said are a symbol of hope. And so many people will be looking to see how the Tekla Lorupe led team will be participating here at the Olympics. Um, Madini, the 18 year old Syrian swimmer, already competed. Uh, she did win her hit in the 100 meter. Uh, uh, butterfly. So there is a lot of expectation that they could actually live up to the expectations of the Olympic Games. Remember some of these athletes were, were, were not even professional athletes in the last year or so. Like for example the athletics team, uh, the South Sudanese, uh, the five South Sudanese athletes did not even start competing or preparing for the Olympics until eight months just before um, last year. So I think it will be very interesting to see how they perform. Again, also, um, there'll be a lot of interest in some of the athletes who are here for the last time, or rather who are in the Olympics for the last time, the likes of Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps from the USA. And so it will be interesting to see how they all perform, Mahia. Well, Celestine, obviously doping has been a major issue in the run-up to the Games. It does overshadow a lot of, a lot of the, the, the events even before they've started. What can you tell us about this? Well, of course, the headlines was doping, doping, doping coming into the Olympic Games. Once the Games have started now, it is a, a, a matter of looking at the controls that have been put in place. Are they working? Are they catching the cheats? And so uh, that is one thing people will, will be looking at. Um, athletes have been tested so much coming into these Games. They will be tested uh, way more during the competition, Mahiam. And the IOC will be looking to make sure that they are maintaining the integrity of the competition. They do not want a situation where um, Five years from now, they are telling a gold medalist, look, um, excuse me, we are sorry, uh, give the, back that medal. They would like to really reduce those cases of, um, when they, of, of when the retests are done, that they have so many athletes failing the doping test. Of course, the, the lab here, the anti-doping lab here has said that they ha have high security to make sure there is no uh, maybe outside infiltration, if you may, to protect the integrity of the process of uh, the sample testing here in in Rio. So I think that is one thing that will be followed closely, not just really by the journalists here, but of course by those competing here at the Olympics. Everybody in Mahia always wants uh, clean games. Well, finally, Celestine, obviously golf is one of the new sports in Rio uh, as, uh, on top of Rugby Sevens. Uh, do tell us, uh, have, have you been able to, or you or any of the team there, been able to speak to any players? Uh, well, um, golf, rugby coming back into the Olympic Games is, is a lot of, there's a lot of interest, of course. Um, as you can imagine, the women's competition began today in rugby and um, Team Kenya was one of those competing. Mahia, uh, this is a team that only qualified for the Olympics after South Africa withdrew. They were second in the African qualifiers. They did not really get off to a good start, Mahia. They lost 52 nil to New Zealand and are facing France in the, in the next hour. Um, and so they will be looking to, to keep alive their chances of a quarterfinal berth. But when you look um, at the other sport that is making a return after almost a century being away of the, uh, in the Olympic family is, of course, golf. And South African um, Gary Player, who is the captain of the South African team, has really been critical of some of the top golfers who actually decided to pull out of the competition, some of them due to Zika virus, some of them due to family commitments. And um, he actually even argued at some point that maybe golf in future should be, um, you know, sh sh should be a, an amateur sport in, in the Olympic Games because amateur players tend to have a bit of enthusiasm in competing in these competitions. Maya, Gary Player spoke to Dan Williams.
Gary Golf has returned to the Olympic fold for the first time in more than 100 years. How do you feel about that prospect? A lot of us worked very hard to get the game back into the Olympics. I want to think about a positive, on a positive vein. We've got a lot of good players coming, a lot of wonderful women coming. So all in all, this is exciting. There are some big names missing from the field. What have you made of the dropouts? Yes, I'm very bitterly disappointed that the, a lot of the top players decided not to come. I would have given anything to participate in the Olympics. I would have rowed over from South Africa to get that gold medal amongst all my trophies. Uh, three and a half billion people watching the biggest, greatest sporting event in the world. But I'm bitterly disappointed. Is golf in danger, perhaps, of missing this shop window? Um, I'm going to say this, that there is danger that we will be exited from the Olympic Games. Uh, I hope that they will see how well the players that are playing, numerous of them, will behave and, and boost the Olympic Games rather than exit us, rather put amateurs in. To, uh, don't kick us out uh, because amateurs will cherish the opportunity of playing. Gary, South Africa will be without the likes of Charles Schwartzel and Louis Oersthuizen. Uh, what chance, though, of success for South Africa? First of all, I believe if our original team was in the Games, we would have definitely, and I never say that, definitely won a gold medal because we're playing away from home, which is better than most other countries playing away from home. I believe we would have won a gold medal. But Jaco, I take my head off to him, he sacrificed the Open Championship and the PGA to be rested and well prepared. He's been playing well. Brandon Stone, very enthusiastic, highly intelligent young man who's doing well, top 100. We're going to pump him up and do well. How do you rate the challenge from China at this Olympics? I don't know about this one, but I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I'm optimistic that they will, but in future, and you see, in China when they do something, they're given a lot of um, basic support from the government and encouragement. And they're determined to do well. And they have numbers, 1.3 billion people. You've got a lot of people to choose from. Look how well they really surprised the world when they won the Olympics and beat America in Beijing. I mean, that was an eye-opener. So um, nothing would surprise me from China. Well, of course, Mahia, um, as, as far as golf is concerned, uh, there are some who say that these are just maybe fast edition, teething problems for them, and that as the competition grows into, you know, the fans start getting uh, liking for it, then maybe top stars will be competing in subsequent editions. But, well, time will tell with that, Mahia. Indeed, time will tell. We're only one day into the Olympic Games. Do enjoy the action in Rio de Janeiro. That was CCTV Celestine Caronet, who is in Rio and will be covering the Olympics for us there.